Students, welcome to my online channel. Now, today we are going to study Roman numerals. Now, these are the seven symbols which are used in Roman numerals. There are no other symbols, only these seven symbols that you have to learn. Now, I am going to write the values of these symbols. Now, I represents which number? I represents 1. V represent 5. X represent 10. L represents 50. C value is 100. Now D represents 500 and M represents 1000. So these are the 7 symbols which you have to use in Roman numerals. And now there are some rules. Before going to the addition, subtraction, multiplication, I would like to tell you something very important that is that symbol V, L and D will never be repeated and symbol I, X, C and M can be repeated but not more than three times. Only we can repeat any symbols up to three places for example the number is 300 so what we have to write c is 100 value so c c c we can write three times but if we have to write a number 400 so what we will do we will write d we will use d and we will write c before this so if we will write the smaller number in the left side then it means it's subtraction so just you have to understand that v l and d never be repeated and now coming to the rules first rule is addition now in addition what you have to do is for example there is a number like i'm taking this v and 1 so v is the value v has a value 5 and i is having value 1 so that means 5 plus 1 so that equals to 6 the value of the symbol is 6 and what we are doing adding now for example i am taking one more example now this is x so x value is 10 then we have two times i so the value of i is 1 plus 1 that equals to 10 plus 1 plus 1 that is 12 understood now coming to the rule subtraction in subtraction what happens is like if I am taking this number here in addition when the smaller digit, smaller value symbol is at the right place then we add and when the smaller number is at the left place of a number then we need to subtract so here it is 1 so we can't write 1 here so this is v first we have to write v that is 5 5 and when it is on the left side so then we have to subtract so now the value is 4 and now let's take one more example I am mm, taking this now here again this is smaller number it is having smaller value so we have to subtract so value of x is 10 minus 1 that equals to 9 now the next rule is multiplication when we are doing multiplication like for example i am taking this three numbers and this is value of x is 10 so 10 and how many x's are there 1 2 3 so we will multiply it with 3 so it will be 30 now coming to the next one uh, let me take example second one this one i have taken c c value is 100 and there are two c's so we will multiply two times so it will be 200 in this way you can do the questions and remember one thing v l d will 
never repeat and i x c m can be repeated but only three times not more than three times i hope you have understood